will begin with Ian Hest. Go ahead, Ian. Thank you, Rafa. Hey, Sergey. Uh, th this adversity, this two-game stretch that you guys have been on, very different from the first two games that you had at home. What are you talking about in the locker room in terms of staying positive and knowing that you're returning back just two games and a long season left to go for you guys? Uh, hi, yes, it's uh, this season like marathon and uh, we won the first two games and uh, after uh, we lose two games, but the uh, season is very long and uh, I think we play well these two games and uh, today was a very difficult game. You know, uh, Toronto is a great team and uh, it's a uh, game was uh, two first goal and unfortunately they scored f uh, first. Franco? Hey, Sir, uh, just wanted to get your overall thoughts on, on the game and the performance you guys put forth. Uh, and this one, first half was pretty even, then second half some uh, mistake gets, gets them on the board and then um, you guys never really seem to really get back into it. What would you think of the game and your overall thoughts on, on the match? Yes, it's uh, the first time we play well and uh, it was the beginning of the uh, second uh, half and uh, they scored after our mistake and uh, really it's, it was a difficult game and we couldn't score more and lose the, this game. Ian? It was your first time playing uh, with Harvey on that side with his first MLS start. What, what did you see from him? His positioning and, and how he played tonight. He's a very young guy and uh, he he has a big quality uh, and uh, I think it's the uh, future of Inter Miami because uh, he's a great player. And Franco, I'm not sure you have another one? Yeah? yeah do. Okay, go I ahead. Uh, Sorry, obviously this was the first game for the team without Gregory uh, in the midfield who's the defensive midfielder does a lot of the, the work to blanket the back four and help you guys out. Um, uh, how did you guys go about that? What, what, what are the skills and instructions in the lead up to the game in terms of how you guys would make up for his absence in terms of how the team would help protect and, and do uh, you know the job that he does? Obviously you didn't have a player in there that's like him, but I'm sure there was a plan there to try to help make up for that. Yes, Gregor, uh, it's uh, our captain. It's uh, great football player and uh, uh, great help for central defender because all all uh, hard work uh, he did on the pitch and uh, but now we have uh, Bryce we have uh, Jean Mota we have uh, other players who can change uh, Gregor and uh, I think it uh, will be